Hello and welcome back to another GCN indoor training video with me Manon Lloyd and Chris Opie. Today we're going to do a talk monster session designed by Neil Henderson of the Sufferfest. We're going to start off at 80 RPM. This should be just nice easy walking pace to wake your legs up. We've got quite a long warm up today haven't we? Which we is have. 15 minutes. Quite a few openers in there to get our muscles, heart and lungs pumping and ready for what are going to be some absolute max efforts further down. I'm not looking forward to those. It looks hard. It's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> hurt. This session, there's no escaping it. It's gonna be brutal, isn't it? It is. It's a good time to get comfortable on your bike. Warm up nice and gently, cadence of 80. It's quite hard to stick to that when you're feeling fresh and you're ready to go, but trust me, if you go too hard right now, you're gonna pay for that later. Intensity right now should be exactly half of your threshold power. So imagine if you had a 300 watt threshold, that'd be 150 watts. Or if you're doing it based on perceived exertion, it's going to be one, like going for a walk. So we're going to do this for two and a half minutes, and then we're going to move in to the second stage of the warm up, which should take us up to 65% intensity with a cadence of 85. So it's going to progress slowly but eventually it's going to get us ready for these max and the 30 second efforts from basically a standing start later on in the session. Max anaerobic power efforts. It's kind of like a gym session almost, isn't it? When you it start is, with such yeah. a low cadence. Did you do many track standing starts on the track? Yeah, I did lots of them. I think it is a big part of um, the track sessions and track racing, just having that explosive power, which this session is really good for. You might enjoy this then. Um, I mean, or we'll, see. we'll see. Ask me that at the end. <laughs> so we're now two minutes into our warm-up. Just 30 seconds to go until we ramp up to the 65% intensity. Ramp that cadence up to 85 as well. You should notice in the first couple of minutes that your body in increases in temperature quite quickly. Stay on top of your hydration. Make sure you've got a full bottle of water. Make sure you have a fan as well. Really helpful. Makes a big difference, yeah. So. You may have noticed by now we use Wahoo equipment for all of our indoor training. It's got the Wahoo Kicker Headwind, Climb, and Toe Trainer. So that's it now. That's 30 seconds, two minutes, 30 seconds done. We've got two minutes at 65% intensity. I changed gear then, shouldn't I change gear? I need to up the cadence to 85. find a gear that works, 85 RPM. It's really important to warm your muscles up thoroughly before this session because it is going to be really tough. It's the sort of session that if you're really fresh and you really put your max energies into it, it cause quite a lot of muscle damage. So making sure everything's warm is absolutely crucial. From here, we go up to a 90 second effort with a slightly faster cadence again. Don't have to worry about that just yet. This should be like a two to three. On the perceived exertion scale, you should feel like you can maintain this sort of effort almost indefinitely. You should feel nice and comfortable, but you should feel that you're starting to work that little bit harder. You've got another minute of this effort, and then we start to increase it. You can already hear my breathing starting to go up, starting to breathe a little bit deeper, a little bit faster. Muscles should feel a little bit more supple already, a bit more comfortable. Try and find a nice position on the bike, somewhere where you can sit, get out, good power output, nice smooth pedal stroke. Don't be like me, don't slide around on the saddle too much. It's bizarrely one of my favorite things to do. That's 90 seconds into this one now, we've got another 30 seconds. We're gonna increase the intensity to 75%. That's up to around a five on the perceived exertion scale. We're also gonna take our cadence up as well, up to 90. If you're not a natural spinner, once you get past 85 to 90 RPM, you'll start to feel like it's quite fast. Try and relax your shoulders and your upper body. Really focus on just turning those legs over. So five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Cadence up. I'm not sure I've changed gear there. Could increase the intensity as well as the cadence. So maybe use slightly different gear. There we go. So cadence is 90 now. Perceived exertion should be up in the five. Try and get nice and comfortable. 
Focus on being smooth. We've got 90 seconds at this effort, and it's an intensity of 75%. Good deep breaths as your body's changing temperature very quickly in this warm up. This warm up lasts for around 15 minutes, as we mentioned before. And after that, we're straight into some really hard efforts, aren't we? With very short recoveries between them. But it'll be good fun, in a way. So, just got 30 seconds left now, and then we're going to take the cadence up to 100. So, that's going to be really quite fast. We're going I think to do. The turbo is definitely the best place to practice cadence. It is. You know, isn't you're it? on a static turbo, it doesn't matter if you're bobbing around. Whereas on the road, it probably does. So yeah. it's definitely the best place to practice spinning high cadence. And it teaches you to be nice and smooth as well, because you, f you really have to fight for every part of your pedal stroke on the turbo, don't you? Another 10 seconds now, and then we're going to go up to that 100 cadence for 30 seconds. We're also going to increase the intensity a lot, up to 90%. Two seconds, one, go. So 30 seconds now, pedaling a lot faster and a lot harder. This is going to get us right up. 90% intensity, so that's just under your threshold power. It's going to be around a 6 out of 10 perceived exertion. It's only for 60 seconds. Sorry, only for 30 seconds. The next step is 60 seconds. Just five seconds left of this one. We drop the cadence down to 80. We're going to be back down towards walking pace then. Perceived exertion of 2. It's not quite as, a, not quite as easy as the earlier warm up, but very gentle. 60 seconds. Allows your breathing rate to stabilize that little bit, your heart to deliver the blood to all your muscles, all the oxygen. Good deep breaths, nice controlled, nice relaxed shoulders, comfortable on the bike. Warm up's important, isn't it, Manon? It really is, yeah. You need to be warmed up, especially for these efforts that you're using, you know, every muscle in your legs to sprint, especially seated efforts. So yeah, definitely really important to yeah. be warmed up. And I think later on you're going to start feeling the arms as well, <laughs> wrenching the bars. <laughs> Another 15 seconds now, and then we go back up to that cadence of 100, but we're also taking our power output over our threshold. So it's going to be really quite hard. It's going to be an 8 on the perceived exertion, or if you're using power, it'll be 110% of FTP. So in 2, 1, go. So really increase that cadence now. Get on top of that gear nice and quickly. Let that power stabilize just over your threshold power. Imagine you had a threshold of 300 watts. It'd be 330 right now. It's only for 60 seconds. And we're going to back the intensity right down again just after that. The cadence of 100 here. Try and focus on that cadence. Try and keep it controlled. Something I'm not always that good at on the indoor trainer. I find I end up pedaling a little bit faster than I do outdoors. 25 seconds now, good deep breaths, 8 out of 10, perceived exertion. So we're trying really hard, I'm starting to sweat properly. Heart rate should be hitting its highest point so far. Then we've got a 60 second recovery then. So we're back down to that walking pace. In 5, drive it all the way to the end, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Cadence of 80. Good deep breath, 60 seconds like this. And then we slowly drop down through the gears to a cadence of 60. But we'd be pushing quite hard on the pedal. So this is all about muscle recruitment, muscle activation, pedaling slow, making sure we're engaging the muscles in the correct order throughout the pedal stroke, being really efficient. Try and hold your cadence at 80 throughout this recovery. Take some good deep breaths, have a drink maybe. We'll be on to the hard part of the effort in a second. So the next thing that's coming up our way is 90 seconds at 60 cadence, cadence of 60, but we're doing it at 100% of our threshold power, so the power you can maintain for an hour. So you have to drop a few gears in a moment. So in five, four, three, two, one. Get that cadence right down to 60. Get your power up to your threshold power. Probably have to change a few gears. There we go. Nice aggressive gear changes. So 55 to 65, anywhere in that region is fine. This feels big. It does, doesn't it? There we go. 
feels slow, doesn't it? It doesn't feel natural at all. Yeah, when you're outside, a cadence of 60, sometimes if you're going up a climb, it's not that rare that you'll see your cadence is that low. So try and relax your upper body. You don't want to be wrenching too much through there. You should be coming from your legs, from your lower back, from your hips. So this lasts for 90 seconds. We drop it down into a lower gear. Recover. Again, at that walking pace for 80 seconds. Oh, sorry, for 90 seconds then. At a cadence of 80. I'm reading the instructions in front of me, so. As I try harder, I might lose my way. She's just got 10 more seconds now on this effort. She'll be trying really hard. Keep those legs turning right until the final second. And you want to drop down a few gears into a lower gear, an easier gear. Reduce that intensity now. Pedal at 80 reps per minute. But you want to feel like you're doing the intensity you're going out for a walk. So you're pedaling a bit faster, not a huge amount faster. And in 90 seconds, or in 75 seconds from now, we've got the most important opener coming. It's the final opener, the final, final part of this intense warm up. Now we're going to slow the bike right down, slow everything down, put it in our top gear, and we're going to start at a cadence of just 30 RPM. So it'll be from a speed not too dissimilar to walking pace outside, and then starting in your top gear. It's just going to feel like you're going very, very slow. And this is very specific to the efforts we're going to be doing later. So we've got another 45 seconds now, just relaxing, getting those deep breaths in. And then it's an almost max effort that we're going to do. It's not quite a max effort. We're going to save those for later. We're going to drop it down. I've got a 10 on the back of mine, a 10 cassette in the big ring. It's a 46, I think, so it's quite a big gear. Whatever you've got at home, maybe you have a compact chain set, a 50, 11 or 12. Put it in that top gear in the next 10 seconds. Get yourself braced on the bike, stay seated. That's the important thing with this effort is to stay seated. You might want to slide yourself back in the saddle a little bit. We're going to accelerate our cadence quite quickly from 30 RPM right up to 90. So go. You can see mine's 45. With 20 seconds to go. Really push those legs around. Cane's up to 80, 85. Really try and get your canes up to 90, using all your glutes. And recover. That's a hard effort. It feels like doing a set of pretty intense squats in the gym almost. Yeah. Heart rate now, through the roof, 180. I feel every muscles, my legs burn in there. We've got two minutes here now to recover. Came to 80. Good deep breath. Yeah, really deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a taster of what's to come. I'll be honest. That's quite tough. So the next efforts are going to be a genuine 10 out of 10 perceived exertion. Got another one minute 20 like this. And we're straight in to a 20 second max effort. So this is called the slow start, roll number one. The goal is to start in a very, very big gear. Stay seated at all times. And you want to accelerate that gear as quickly as possible. You want to focus on really pushing through the pedal and pulling it back up from the dead spot. And at this point, we recommend if you do have a smart trainer like we have, to actually disconnect the erg mode and just to use it on free ride, you know, as it is at the factory so that nothing is controlling it. It's not dictating the power to you. You're dictating the power output to it. I'm probably out of breath, man. <laughs> <sighs> right, it's a 20 second max effort coming up. We've got 25 seconds until it starts. So we're gonna put our bike into top gear now already. We're gonna slow right down. We've got 15 seconds until the effort starts. Slow right down. Get yourself into the position you're going to be using when you really go for it. <coughs> Take your last deep breath. Tighten up your shoes, that sort of thing. So in three, two, 
one. We've got 20 seconds sprint. Go. Genuine max. 10 out of 10 effort. As hard as you can for 20 seconds. Staying seated as much as you can. Three, two, one. And recover then. Oh. Oh, recovery. Cadence for 60. This is just 40 seconds of recovery here. Just really nice and easy. No effort whatsoever on the pedals. Oh. Good deep breaths. Get the oxygen back to your legs. Back to all your muscles that have just been working so hard. I'm trying harder than I have done so far. Right, 10 seconds. Get up the intensity ever so slightly to 80, 80 cadence. We're gonna go back to that sort of endurance pace now. So we're gonna do two minutes at this endurance pace. And that's gonna help prep us for the rest of the session. Really nice deep breath. Cadence of 80, half of your sustainable threshold power. Have a good drink. Turn your fan up, open your windows. How are your legs feeling, Anna? I mean, I found that pretty tough. I think the hard gear efforts, like, there's no hiding from them. <laughs> there is no hiding from them, no. I'm a bit nervous now for what's to come. <laughs> but it's all right to be nervous. It's all right to be a bit worried, isn't it? Yeah, I think definitely when I was training, it was, I'd get as nervous for the training sessions as I would for the race, because yeah. I just know how much, you know, they're going to hurt. But yet, weirdly, you always give 100%. You, like, you know it's going to hurt, you don't want it to hurt, but you still commit 100%. Yeah, definitely. And that's important when it comes to these efforts as well, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got one more minute. Good deep breath. One more minute. And then we're going to drop the cadence down to 60. In a big gear at 120% of our sustainable threshold. So it's going to be an 8 out of 10 on the perceived exertion. We're going to do 30 seconds in a big gear, 30 seconds of recovering. We're going to do that one, two, three, four times and counting them up in front of me. We've got another 35 seconds until they start. So 30 seconds at that cadence of 60 with 90 second recover recoveries in between at the same endurance pace as we're doing now, cadence of 80. So there'll be a lot of gear changing going on and equally there's going to be a lot of trying going on. So 120% of FTP would be 360 watts as a minimum what we're aiming for here if you had a threshold of 300. We've got 10 seconds to go, so you might want to start thinking about your gearing now before you press that lap button. Drop that cadence down to 60. And then go. Really push on those pedals for that 30 second effort. It's tempting to stand up, but it's really, really important to stay seated throughout these sessions. You might find that you don't want to hold the drops. Actually holding the tops is better. Halfway through this first one now, Really push hard. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop the gearing. You might find that what works really well is actually dropping the gear from the big ring to the small ring in between these, and then just popping it back up to the big ring for the harder efforts. We've got 90 seconds like this. My heart is pounding. I think I may have had one too many coffees. One more. So that's effort number one done. I want to recovery number one as well. We've got three more of those to go. So just under a minute now. Good deep breaths all the time. You get as much oxygen flowing through your body as possible. Sit up, try and assist your breathing. Have a small drink. Don't drink too much, you may cause yourself a stitch. You know, the shock of the diaphragm. If you're putting too much cold water into your system. Just nice deep breaths, nice controlled breaths. Nice posture on your bike. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna have to start thinking about a gearing again for the next 30 second effort. It'll be effort number two. 15 seconds now. I'm going to put it back in the big ring. Shift down to my top gear. 10 seconds to go. The same thing again. We try and maintain that cadence of 60. 
with an intensity of 120%. So this is genuine eight and a half out of 10. Go. So it's 30 seconds now. Try and maintain a seated posture. Power from your back and your hips, your glutes. Push and pull, push and pull. It's 15 seconds to go. 10. Got to push all the way to the end. So I hold out five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Oh, really use that recovery. Spin the legs, cadence of 80, perceived exertion of two, threshold power equivalent of 50%. 181 heart rate. That's quite high. Good deep breaths. We've got two more of these in this fashion. And then we've got a bit of a recovery. So good deep breaths all the way now. Just under a minute until the next one. That's number three. The rest goes so fast in this. It gets a little bit too fast, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Do you not feel like every interval gets longer as well? Yeah, definitely. But it's really important no matter what your power ends up being, just really drive it all the way to the end of the effort. Really utilize every single second that you have to get the most out of this session. It's so easy to just stop with three seconds to go just because it's hurting so much, but yeah. it's those three seconds that will make the difference. Exactly, especially at the end of a race, or at the end of a climb, whatever it is you have aiming for at home. If you cut your interval short by three seconds every single time, you'd be losing out on a lot, wouldn't you? It adds up to a lot, that does, yeah got dry through now. 10 seconds, so you want to start thinking about that gearing. It's the last thing you want to do right now, maybe. Five, four, three, two, one, and 30 seconds. You've got to really push and pull on those pedals. Stay seated, maintain that good posture. Fight for every part of that pedal stroke. There's 15 seconds to go. Really push those legs around. Five, four, three, two, one, and recovery. Whoa. I start to feel like I've got jelly legs. It's recovery number three now. We're at 90 seconds. Whoa. Maintain a little bit of pressure on the pedals. Scientifically proven that by maintaining a bit of pressure, your muscles will recover faster. Okay, this is a hard session, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Important as well just to take deep breaths, not to get too carried away panting. It's a very good point. Sure you keep it calm in the recovery and making the most of it. It's really easy not to think about your breathing, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's so important. Halfway through that recovery now. And we've got one more 30 second effort. And then we have a nice th three minute recovery for you. Time for us. So 30 seconds to go. You want to start thinking about your positioning again, about your gearing, about your commitment. 30 second effort here, and then we're into a three minute zone one, nice and gentle recovery. So 15 seconds. I'm going to put my bike back in the big ring. Top gear. Still out of breath. Five, four, three, two, and commit all the way. Those full 30 seconds, even if your legs are like jelly. It's 20 seconds to go. Try and make this one the best one. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and full three minute recovery. Just try and keep your legs turning. Sorry, Manon, I know you want free will. It's all I want to do as well. But turning your legs is proven to recover faster. Right, got a few more efforts coming up, but right now, 24 and a half minutes into your 40 minute walkout. 
workout. <laughs> the bulk of the way through this, most of it's behind us. As you get to those last efforts, you start to taste the finish. We know it's nearly over. You can get on with the rest of your day, knowing that you've had a quality session in your legs, in your bung, in your lungs. I can't speak. I'm trying hard. I always feel so much better about doing a really hard tuba session and completing it properly. I feel like I never look forward to it, but after I've done it, I just feel so much better. It's really easy to put it off, isn't it? So easy. Like I'll wake up in the morning on the weekend, I'll, oh, I'll do it at 10, do it at 11. <laughs> like, come on, it's 11.30 now, you have to do it. But you're right, once you've done it, you've achieved something, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it just sets you up for the day nicely as well. <clears throat> Keep that cadence up, 80 RPM. Keep the pressure on your legs, 40% of FTP. So that's the lowest intensity we've done so far. Good, focused, deep breathing. Halfway through this recovery. So, after this, We've got one effort here. We're going to go into a 20 second max effort with a slow rolling start like we did before. So we're going to put our bikes in top gear, but we're going to do it for just 20 seconds. Then we've got a 40 second recovery at even lower intensity than we're doing right now. So it's not too bad. It's basically a 20 second sprint in a big gear. So it really is like doing a weightlifting session at the gym or a weight training session. But it's really going to boost anaerobic fitness. And you're going to make some serious adaptations after this effort. So 45 seconds now. Good time to have your final drink before the next effort. The last part of this is going to go really fast. You've got all the important bits out of the way. We've got 30 seconds until this 20 second effort starts. And it's full commitment. It's seated again. You might find that pushing yourself back in the saddle works well for this. There's a big acceleration at the start of the effort. You're really pushing and pulling on your shoes, on the pedals. You want to make sure everything's nice and tight. Just 10 seconds now. Get yourself braced and ready. Just five, four, three, two, one, and go as hard as you can. Really, absolutely power through those pedals. Try and get the peak power output for the day. If you've got a power meter on, stay seated if you can. 10 seconds to go. Come on, really power through the line now. Five, three, two, one, and stop. 40 second recovery here. Barely even touching the pedals. If you can't pedal right now, that's actually kind of okay. We've got a two minute active recovery on the way. Get on top of your breathing. Heart rate, 186. <laughs> Yours is higher than mine. <laughs> There's no, By no two competition. Beats. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm still talking. In 10 seconds, up that intensity ever so slightly. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're into the active recovery now. So we're trying that a little bit harder than before. This will help your muscles recover faster than if you were freewheeling. So we've got two minutes of this effort, and then we're into the last block. And we're going to revisit the 3090s. So 30 seconds of effort, 90 seconds of recovery. Those 30 seconds are done at that cadence of 60. We're aiming for 120% of your threshold power or an equivalent perceived exertion of eight out of 10. If I stop talking or pass out, it's because I'm actually suffering right now. How are you finding it? Hard, my legs are aching already and it's it's not finished. It's a lot, I don't know, maybe it's the fact that we're both sprint based riders, but I do find this sort of session harder. Yeah, definitely. Because you can kind of access more of your potential as it were, so yeah. you know how to push yourself then. Yeah, you? definitely. Got one more minute now of this active recovery. Cadence of 80, perceived exertion of one to two, threshold power, half of your threshold. I've mentioned a few times I use 300 as a theoretical number. It's easy to calculate. 50% is 150 watts. I'm actually looking forward to this session being over now. 
me too. <laughs> so we've done this next block before. We've done this once. We know what to expect. They were hard. They weren't brutal. They weren't, they weren't 10 out of 10. But if we really push and get through this last block now, we've done it. We can go and enjoy the rest of the day. I feel like they're going to hurt even more after doing them two sets before, so yeah, definitely going to burn. I wasn't going to mention that. <laughs> There's no hiding from the hurting. There is no hiding from the hurting. With that in mind, <laughs> it's time to shift into the big ring. Because in four seconds, we start again. Three, two, one. 30 seconds now. Really power that gear over. Kings. Kane is a 60. It's 10 seconds to go. Sorry, 15. That's how hard I'm trying, losing count. So 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And push to the last second always. You should really start to feel your glutes around towards your back your quads, your hamstrings, your calves. If you've done your shoes up tight, your feet will probably be burning. It's all normal. I'm a big fan of over tightening my shoes for some reason, and I always regret it. We've got one more minute now of recovery, and we've just got three of those efforts left, and then we move into a gentle three minute warm down, and we're done for the day. I'm glad we've got the fans on, but I do wish I had a towel. Halfway through this first recovery now, cadence of 80, perceived exertion of just two. Your heart rate will still be high. Your body's still working hard to recover. Your body's still working hard to cool down. Just got 25 seconds now before we go on to the next interval. So I'm going to alternate from the big ring to the small ring and vice versa, just to maintain that tempo. This is effort number two we're coming on to now. So in just 10 seconds, I think about my gearing, get it in the big ring, and with five seconds to go, ready to press my lap button. Three, two, one, and go. Really push on those pedals now. 30 seconds, get that cadence up over 60. Brace yourself on the bike. 20 seconds to go. And 10. Five, four, three, two, one, and 90 seconds recovery. Back into that little ring. Cadence of 80. Intensity, just half of your threshold power. Perceived exertion too. You barely feel your legs. If you can't feel your legs, you feel your heart and lungs. Just got two of these left, Mama. Yeah. Are you feeling these? I definitely am. It's also quite important to remember to breathe in the effort as well, because I feel like when you do big efforts, you <laughs> maybe not concentrating on your breathing. So I think it's really important to remember to take the deep breaths and breathe. That's good advice. <laughs> How do you, what do you do with your arms in such an effort? How are you tense? I like are you to relaxed? tense a little bit, not too much. Just keep them nice and relaxed, but I like to feel like I'm getting all the power out. So if, it, if I'm too relaxed in the bars, I feel like I'm not quite getting everything out. Yeah. So I do tense a little bit, but not too much. No wasted energy. No. <laughs> So just 20 seconds now until effort three. A couple of last deep breaths, a couple of gear changes, and then with 10 seconds to go, I like to pop it back in the big ring, get my finger on my lap button, and get ready for the effort. We've got five seconds now. This is the penultimate one. Three, two, one, go. Pedal the whole stroke, push over the top, pull up the bottom. Fifteen seconds to go. If 
five. Push all the way to the end and stop. All right, 190 now. Got one to go. Couple of gear changes. 191 then. Couple of gear changes. Cadence back down to 80. No exertion. Just two on the scale. Starting to bite now. You just want to stop pedaling to have a bit extra rest, but you do, yeah. Definitely better to keep going. It's like in a race. You go over a climb. What you want to do is free wheel, isn't it? Yeah. Then you see an attack go and you have to go go again. Ooh. Good deep breath. Being control your breathing. Don't neglect how you feel on the bike, how you sat. We've got 30 seconds now until the final effort. And then all the magic work's done. We can start thinking about recovery. Nice short warm down on this session, just three minutes. And I'm gonna collapse on that sofa just behind us, I think. So, 10 seconds to go. Thinking about the gearing. Get everything lined up for the final effort. Hands on the bars, finger on the button. Three, two, one. Everything now for the final 30 seconds. Keep that power over 120%. Really dig in. That cadence over 60. Really fight for it. 10 seconds of effort. Come on, drive it all the way to the end. Don't give up. Just five seconds. Two, one, and stop. Ooh. Three minutes of warm down. Catch your breath. Stick your head out the window if you want to throw up. <laughs> that's how I feel right now. Oh, that's hard. Oh, I can feel it everywhere on the last one. Remember, this session is designed to increase your max, your max anaerobic powers. To really push yourself up and over your threshold power. Basically, turn yourself inside out. That's what it feels like. You're going to really recruit all your muscles with these slow cadence sprints and surges. Really pushing hard from a very low speed. So we're gonna recruit all your muscles. That's spinning lightly for the last three minutes. It's gonna kickstart your recovery. Make sure you have a drink, something to eat. And don't forget, these sessions have been designed by Neil Henderson of the Sufferfest. And they've been purposefully put together to create a training session that gives a benefit to everyone that does it. So whether that's a world tour bike rider or someone that's given up cycling and just getting back into it. It's really got something for everyone. Everyone's gonna benefit by doing these sessions. As long as you commit to them, you stick to the strict steps that are detailed on this session. I don't think you'll get much sessions harder than that, really. No. I'm genuinely surprised every time I look at these sessions on paper. I think that'll be fine. It's only, <laughs> it's only 40 minutes. Maybe I'll do two today. But actually, they're genuinely brutal, aren't they? Definitely, yeah. It's been a while since I've sweat this much. Just really focus on that final minute of your recovery now. Just one more minute of warm down. And you can get off, tidy up, get your mop and bucket out if you're sweating as much as we are. Actually, I think I've won today. You have, yeah. A bit of a puddle on the floor. <laughs> If you're looking for more sessions like this one, we've got a whole load on the channel at GCN on YouTube. And the Suffer Fest have got a whole load of these videos as well. If you want to get stuck into some of those, they're all gonna hurt and they're all gonna make you fit. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Are you gonna do it again, Manon? I think I will, yeah. yeah. Even though it was really, really hard, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but it's definitely gonna benefit me Thank in the you. long run. I think it's one of those sessions, if you did it once a week for a few weeks, you'd notice yeah. a big improvement, wouldn't you? Thank you everyone for joining us. If you found it easier than we did, tell us in the comments down below. And good luck with your training. See you again for the next one.